Hello everyone, this is Jay Dobbins of the official Marvel DC Multiverse. We're now at episode 470, and I'll be discussing one topic, which is... Black Panther 3 will not recast T'Challa. So, um, it turns out that Marvel Studios has not learned anything after Black Panther Wakanda Forever. That, you know, it turns out they also want to erase, like they want to erase all iterations of the T'Challa, of the T'Challa, pretty much. Which is pretty much going to piss off the comic book fans. And it's also going to be another reason why Marvel Studios will not rise to former glories. They're trying very hard to rise to former glories by using the, pre, the, by using the old formula. And they're thinking that, okay, you know, erasing Kang Dynasty, you know, was going to be a start. Now, what they should have done was recast Kang. So now you have all these cliffhangers from Eternals and Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. So... I'm going to be honest with you, the MCU is now, you know, a mess, pretty much. So, you, you probably, you know, Marvel Studios promised us the Kang Dynasty in Secret Wars, but now they decide, oh, we're going to scrap Kang Dynasty, despite the cliffhanger from uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp. And you still have all the Kang variants, you know, hanging around. Pretty much. And how do you explain that? And then, of course, let's not forget Black Panther 3, where you have Letitia Wright as a leading lady of the film. Still no T'Challa. So, for some reason, they think that... It's like they think that they're going to, you know, make a billion dollars like the previous film. They, as a matter of fact, the joke was on them when they thought that they were going to make a billion dollars off the sequel. And it turns out they made $861 million worldwide. Or, or is that somewhere between 861 to 960, sorry, 861 to 891 million dollars worldwide. So now you have all this going on. And now they thinking, oh, we're gonna do the same thing and hope that we we make a billion dollars. No. They need to recast T'Challa. And then so since they killed off Earth 616 T'Challa, the best option would be a T'Challa variant. So they still have not figured it out. And they're like, oh yeah, we're gonna recast T'Challa after Secret Wars. I was like, no. No, do it now. You know, don't wait until after Secret Wars. You know what I mean, daggum. I'm like, how long do you have to mourn? You know, over T'Challa's death, you know? Like, how long, I mean, like, how long do you have to mourn his death? You know, it's, it's unbelievable, you know? Recast the character. Do not erase the character. Because if you don't recast the character for the third film, for the trilogy... You might as well, you might as well not remake. You might as well not make the film at all, because you're relying on the black community and the Marvel movie fans, which is not enough. It's enough to make it's, it's enough to make over eight hundred million dollars, but as far as a billion, no. You need that forty percent fan base, which are the comic book fans, because sixty percent of that fan base is not going to be enough to you know, make a billion dollar profit off the third film. Isn't this not enough? They tried it, and it didn't work. And the comic book fans made it very clear, no T'Challa, no ticket. I mean, like, when are they going to figure it out? When is it going to sink in? And they're thinking that, oh, you know, 
canceling Eternals 2 and canceling um there's a rumor going on that they're going to cancel Armor Wars and Wonder Man along with um I think Ironheart's still in development so I don't know about you know if they're going to cancel that or not but they're going to cancel the third Captain Marvel film, pretty much. Uh, who else? Um, was it Blade? Well, Blade is still in development, despite um, YouTubers saying that it's been canceled. So I checked the Internet Movie Database, and it turns out that Blade, starting Mahershala Ali, is still in development. So I don't think they're going to replace... You know, Mahershala Ali with Wesley Snipes. You know, Mahershala Ali already made his debut in the Eternals in the post credit scene, so you might as well just keep him. But anyway, um, like, it's, like I said, you know, Ryan Coogler made a mess, pretty much. By one, killing off Achala. Two, um, making Mbaku the king of Wakanda now. And also, doing the Chala Jr. As if that's going to make the fans, you know, that 40% fan base happy. No. Obviously it didn't work. And to use the Chala Jr. as the new T'Challa, that is still not going to work. It's, it's going to make it, it's going to make things a lot worse. So if I were them, I would just recast the character. Do we look at the T'Challa variant? Because that's the, that's the only option, pretty much. And that's the only thing that's going to save the Black Panther franchise. Now, if they want to continue on going down this path and not recasting the character, then that's fine. Because honestly, you know, the MCU is pretty much a mess right now anyway. So, my advice to Marvel Studios and Ryan Coogler, that's if they decide to let him direct the, the third film, which I really hope they don't, is... You know, do a variant. It's time that the third film ties into the multiverse. Because the second film did not tie into the multiverse. And Ryan Coogler got caught in his feelings. Now he's doing other Black Panther spinoffs now. Like, it's like, I don't know. But if they think that the idea, a matter of fact, the idea of them thinking that, okay... The third film's gonna probably make a billion dollars this time is laughable. Put it in a T'Challa variant. Do not use T'Challa Jr. Don't matter if I don't even time jump and use T'Challa T'Challa Jr. as the new Black Panther. Don't do that. It's not gonna work. And it's gonna piss off the fan base. And I'm talking about that 40% fan base that Ryan Cougar needs in order for the Black Panther film for this trilogy, you know. To um, make over a billion dollars or more. You could have two Black Panthers. And I ain't talking about T'Challa Jr. and Shuri. I'm talking about T'Challa and Shuri. And another thing too. They need to put T'Challa in X-Men 97. Because what they did was a cheap shot. So, Yeah. But if they could find a way to put T'Challa, you know, make it T'Challa the new Black Panther in X-Men 97, that'd be great too. But the, but erasing T'Challa altogether because of the passing of one man, it's not going to, you know, make things better. It's all, all it's going to do is piss off the fan base, including me, because I'm pretty much pissed off still about this. So put in the variant, make sure that the third film ties into the multiverse, because it's time, it's time that... Sure, I think sure. I, th I think it's time that Shuri discovers the multiverse, because right now only se several Marvel characters are aware of the multiverse. So, you know, you got Strange, you got Wong, Strange, uh, Scarlet Witch, uh, who else? Of course, you know, you got the Watcher. Um, I guess Beast, you know, Spider Man. Well, so I forget Spider Man, of course. Um, 
Who else? But yeah. Those are definitely the main ones who are aware of the multiverse. So. But yeah. Like I said, recast T'Challa. Do a variant. Um, I don't care if it's Eldest Hodge or Oldest Hodge. I don't care if it's, uh, you know, John David Washington or, uh, who else? Javante Rhodes. I don't care who it is. Just get the get a variant in there. Otherwise, the franchise is screwed. So that concludes this topic. Feel free to follow us on Instagram. We're available on iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, and Twitch.